As the Rio 2016 games draw closer with 137 days to go, welcome to the Australian Olympic Team Weekly Wrap. Victorian Morgan Mitchell will start at the Australian Athletics Championships unbeaten in 2016 after taking line honours once again in a hotly contested women's 400 metres in 52.39 seconds at the Queensland Track Classic. Mitchell will look to win the national crown in two weeks' time to guarantee her automatic nomination for selection to the Australian Olympic team. While at the Sydney Track Classic, there were standout performances from a range of Rio 2016 contenders. A season best and fourth Olympic qualifier to Lauren Wells in the women's 400 metre hurdles has given her the ideal confidence boost ahead of the 2016 championships. While Ellen Nelson crossed the line in a time quicker than the Rio 2016 standard in the women's 200 metres. Strong around the bend, the national champion made it three consecutive wins in the event at the Sydney Track Classic in a time of 23.12 seconds. 22.53 this year in Canberra. She's streets away from this field. She'll hit the line. 23.14. In the field, the nine-time Olympic qualifier Danny Samuels added a 10th Rio 2016 standard to her athletics resume with a 63.25 metre effort to win the women's discus throw. To triathlon and dual Olympian Emma Moffat and rising star Marcel Walkington have led an Australian clean sweep at the Gisborne Oceania Triathlon Championships in New Zealand as the Aussies secured all-important wildcard spots for this year's games. To golf and Jason Day has claimed his eighth victory on the US PGA Tour by taking out the Arnold Palmer Invitational at Bay Hill in a tense finish. Day is set to rise from number three to number two in the world rankings with the top 15 athletes on the men's and women's Olympic golf rankings to qualify for Rio. It was a historic week for Aussie winter sport with Belle Brockoff and Alex Chumpy Pullen winning the women's and men's swirled snowboard cross gold medals and the season ending event in Spain. After two second place podium finishes it was 23 year old Brockhoff's first ever World Cup victory. Two time world champion Pullen was equally as impressive in each of his finals. The Sochi Olympian was quick out of the gates on every occasion including the final which he dominated from the outset. He said it was a great run in the perfect final. <laughs> For me, you know, just overall, I think it's the best race of the season and, and the great thing about it is the course was technical, the racing was tight and we end up pretty much with my perfect final with Pierre, Luca and, uh, and Kevin. I think these are the guys that I really wanted to see in the final. We had that final and then it was a great day for me because I could really execute a good run and, and win. And that's it for this week. Stay up to date at olympics.com.au and come with us on the journey to Rio 2016.